Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is a project share that I made and of course it is using images from polka doodles and I finally made this project you guys have love you a lot of you ladies have been making and I believe it is called mini bookcase holder. So I was inspired by Jen and I will link her project share in the description box who who was inspired by Tony who is craft purge plus she has the tutorial and I follow Tony's tutorial. The only difference is that I actually used 110 pound cardstock and then I papered the project. So anyway, so let me go ahead and share with you my project and here it is, here's what it looks like. You can see the four books right there. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love the way this came out, you guys. This is a really, really cute project to include in a swap or just to swap with other crafters. And so um, the images from Polka Doodles that I used are from the Ruby collection. And I thought she just went well with this paper. The paper is super cute that I chose. And I just left the bottom just white. But there it is, you guys. And so in the front, there is one of the Ruby girls. Here is just the envelope, an Eiffel Tower, some flowers that says hello. This is a die from Tim Holtz. It is one of these, one of these, um, but I couldn't find the one that has the hello, but it is one of these, you guys. Anyway, so, and then in each of the books, I, this one I left it plain, this one I added a bow, this one I just added this little really pretty embellishment, and a rosette, it is a sticker rosette from Hobby Lobby. Here I just added some trim from my stash. And let me go ahead and take out, I did decorate them, the front of the books, just a little bit, not too much. You have to leave them kind of flat because, you know, these were, this holder was made to hold four of these. And they are kind of loose, so I was able to add a little bit of dimension into it. Okay, so here is the first book, and I will be sharing what it has inside. This is supposed to be, I believe, a tag from Hobby Lobby, and I just add that sticker that says love and i just use some elastic trim and that is the closure and that is what the book looks like and then you open it up and i just added some rosettes these are sticker rosettes that you can get from hobby lobby and as you can see i did paper the inside so that's the first book now the second book um the one with the on the spine it has a bow that that is what this one looks like here is another ruby i just think she is so pretty and then this one i got the sticker that says so happy this one i did add a uh just a really simple closure and in the inside okay yeah this one has bows these bows are from my creative time if you know me you guys you know i love bows so I just thought I would add some bows in here. And then these are fabric bows from Daiso. And then this one was gifted to me by my bestie, Sandra, who is Creative Paper Crafts here on YouTube. And these do come in different sizes, but I just, I just printed, I just cut these out. All right, the third box is the one with this really pretty embellishment. Very simple, added a few ephemera pieces from, I don't know from where you guys. Again, the closure is the same as the last box I shared. And inside I've added some really pretty flowers. As you can see that it goes very well with this collection. And in the last box, the one that has the really pretty rosette. Um, again, this is another elastic trim, and that is what the front looks like. Another ruby girl. She is just so pretty, you guys. And in this one, let me show you what's inside this one. Oh, yeah, this one has the, the die cuts from the Tim Holtz dies that I was telling you about. So I just included a bunch of word dies in here, ready to use. You can see in different colors, really pretty. And I just did this while watching TV, to be honest with you. 
and that is my project you guys i really enjoyed making this because i've i've never made anything like this before so it was really fun and though here are the four books here is what the holder looks like as you can see i did paper everything obviously except for the bottom and there's the front there's the back i didn't do nothing to the bottom but yeah you should definitely guys give it a try i'm gonna have both of the videos mentioned i will have them in the description box and also i will have a link to the two ruby collections now the ruby girls come like in about each collection has like about five or seven of the girls and it is just the girls they already come colored i do not color these at all you guys look how beautiful color they are and if you're working with digital images then you can certainly cut them out as big or as small as you like anyway so that is it for today thank you so much for watching hope you've enjoyed this video don't forget to comment down below and don't forget to check the description box for a link everything that i mentioned in this video bye everyone